Hello, hello, happy Friday. Okay, uh, tonight I'm doing something a little bit different. We're not painting this evening. And I do want to I'll go ahead and apologize in advance if you hear some hissing or whirring. Um, I had to resort to using my old computer for today. Um, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so, trying to put some music plus the words hopefully kind of balances itself out. But um, but hi, Jabba the Whoop. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing, Tabs? He says, I am doing great. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's been a little bit of a rough week. <laughs> um, and some of my equipment broke this evening. So I've had to like jerry rig some things. But, you know, God is good. And count your blessings. And you know what? How does that song go by the birds? Do every season turn, turn, turn. So we're we're turning and trying something different. Uh, so, like I said, tonight we're not painting. We are going to... I've got some creepy music going on for a reason. <laughs> I'm not going to paint this evening. I'm going to open up my lore book. I made... Oh, that music's very ominous. That would have been better if I would have opened the book already. I mean, that was kind of the point, but still. But I made a lore book a while ago, inspired by the movie, everybody's favorite Star Wars film, The Last Jedi. <laughs> Joke. Totally kidding. Um, but I thought it was so cool That this was the first time we'd ever seen actual books in Star Wars. And so I decided to make my own. And uh, I actually have a link to the video where you can watch me make this. Let me just switch this up a little bit. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I've got some, what is it called? Arabish basic, whatever it's called. Again, I apologize for the hissing and the whirring, but. Oh, hello, Jedi Master Miyagi. Hail to you, awesome tab. The, I'm Jedi Knight Lego, by the way. I'm the one with the long names. I remember you. I do. So, um, anyway, I've got this on here. If anybody is fluent um, in Arabish, let me, let me leave this here. If you want to look at this. Let me this a bit. And kind of figure out what it says. I decided, like, if anybody can figure out what it says and type it in the chat, like, be the first person, then... Um, you can email me and I will send you a discount, a special discount code to my Etsy shop. I've got a lot of Star Warsy stuff in my shop, but anyway, let's do a little walk through our book here. Let me open this. All of this has been hand painted, drawn, and distressed by yours truly. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I was just reading your comment about me freezing. I hope not. Well, here we go. Got some of that. And I actually took the time to write that. I kind of kept this as like a journal. 
Um, as far as my ideas, my thoughts, preferences towards Star Wars. And uh, I'm not going to take the time to read through everything, just so we can get started with some sketching. But um, these are some actual symbols from the movie itself when uh, Ray was looking through the book. So I just kind of stole some of those ideas. And then I just kind of started um, going into my own stuff here. I started wanting to do more about like the Old Republic. And so I've got the Jedi Temple here. This all actually says stuff. I just don't remember at the moment what I wrote. And we've got the symbol, of course. Oh. And uh, this is a custom lightsaber that I designed myself. I thought it was pretty cool looking. I don't know how practical it is, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I might need to go get my other light really quickly. Let me go get that. My bad, people. My bad. Hopefully that looks a little bit better, but yeah, I just started going, going off on my own thing here, and then I started doing like star charts that are from the computer game Knights of the Old Republic. And what kind of inspired this stream is I was doing some cleaning, and look what I found: Knights of the Old Republic. This game was amazing. Amazing. And I tried to install it on my old computer today, but it just didn't work. So sad. So this is actually uh, Manon. Actually what it says. And these are star charts for that were in the video or the computer game itself. And I've got some information about that over here. Then I did Korriban. I did some sketching here. This is, oh shoot, what is it called? The Valley of the Sith, I think it was called. This actually says Korriban. These are Sith letters. And this is a quote from one of the um, iconic Sith Lords. I love, um, I love how this turned out. Really, really creepy and great. And then I did some Sith Lords like sketches. This is Darth Bane and then Darth Revan. And tonight, just for a little bit, I wanted to sketch m one of my personal favorite Jedi Knights um, that's from the Old Republic, and that would be Bastila Shen. Um, you can see I've already kind of got her started. I didn't want to start exactly from sketch, uh, <laughs> scratch. So I thought that we could kind of just talk about maybe some Star Wars stuff while I sketch this out. I'm going to have to move some of my equipment here so I can see. So, but yeah. Um, Jedi Master Miyagi says the custom lightsaber looks close enough to actual design that it's probably practical enough. You know, I know somebody who... Um, makes lightsaber hilts and they're amazing if you are curious to see some really amazing star wars stuff you should check out black market outpost here on youtube um i've done a collaboration with dennis um he 3d printed a stormtrooper helmet and then he sent it to me and i painted it um and I did a, you guys know, if you come here, I'm all about those franchise crossovers, right? You guys have been seeing that stuff around here. So I did that with the Star Wars meets, you guessed it, you probably could figure it out, Stargate. So, um, <laughs> and by the way, by the way, if you check out the community tab for my channel, um, for those that were interested, I still am selling my Indiana Jones Stargate crossover painting posters. Um, I sold the original one. 
and uh, there were some that were interested and have already purchased the poster for that really cool painting. And uh, if you are interested in owning a piece, or I heard some people were going to buy it as Christmas presents for some colleagues that love the, both franchises, then um, it is there. Link to the Etsy shop is there. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, from our last stream together, um, this is still curing a little bit in some places where the paint's a little bit thicker, but you guys remember we did our bat poo painting with Joker Tigger. And uh, this is also, this is the original piece. Like I said, some of the thicker areas are still curing a wee bit, but this piece is for sale as well. If you're interested in this piece, um, first come first serve, but you can email me at dreamingtabitha.com or excuse me at dreamingtabitha.gmail.com. Um, and yeah, this, this little lovely piece can be yours. So I'm just going to start kind of sketching going on around here. I, I do like to sketch. It's super fun. I, I, with these things, what's, what's really freeing and really awesome is that this doesn't look exactly like the character. Um, like based off of the, the picture in the game and stuff. But, I mean, if you look at back at this, that's the whole point about sketches, right? They're just kind of like getting the gist out. You can recognize who it is and you just go with it and have some fun. I, I love that. You know, just get the general gist. Um, also, just I'm of course I wouldn't be a proper YouTuber if I didn't quickly, you know, plug um, the, the fact that if you want to support the channel, you can. And the links down below. Again, you can check out my Etsy shop. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming, and I've got some of my Christmas Star Wars stuff in the shop already. My job of the hut, my Santa job of the hut, or job of the claws. I think I called him last year. He was a big seller um, with my mugs. So, if you want some fun and unique Star Wars stuff, OG Star Wars stuff, or at least some OG. I do some of the new stuff like Mandalorian. I did do a couple of Book of the Boba Fett stuff, but um, you can get some of these. Shop small, you know, not just me, but check out other Etsy, Etsy people, Look, you know, people out here trying to make it. And so it's really cool when you buy stuff from Etsy. Not only are you getting something like handmade or custom made, but you're, and it could be a gift for somebody else, but you're actually like giving a gift to that, sh that shop by purchasing. We always do little happy dances <laughs> when, we get, when we get stuff. So let's see here. Let's see some of the rest of the details of past products. Imagine and I, hello there. Happy, happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're sketching one of my favorite Star Wars characters, which is Bastila Shan. I don't know if it's Shan or Sean, to be honest. Uh, I don't remember. It has been like a decade and some since I played the game, which is why I was so excited when I found it again. I was hoping it was going to work on my old computer. <sighs> but it didn't. And I just loved this character. Is anybody familiar with Bastila, with with Knights of the Old Republic? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Did you think it was a good game? Do you think? I think it would be so cool, honestly, guys, if um, Disney Plus. And I'm a huge Star Wars Disney person. Oh man, I think it'd be so cool if Disney would take the opportunity to do Knights of the Old Republic show. How cool would that be? And I don't want to. I don't want anything animated. Uh, I, I mean, that would probably be really cool too. But I, I'm getting. It's difficult for me to get into the animated stuff. Um, Dimash and I. I have not tried Dragon Ball yet. We talked about anime before, right? But does this count? 
does the last airbender count? Because I, I have started that. Like, is that okay? Is that a good place to start since I didn't start with Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> such a noob such a what is it called such a normie there go. so but yeah i i can't i don't know exactly what it was <laughs> he says um not necessarily but hey whatever gets you started well darn <sighs> i was trying Okay, so what would the last, what would the last Airbender be qualified? You guys, know, I I am so new to this stuff. I'm like, I'm like Megan Lee from Noob Reviews. Like, I know nothing about anime and manga and stuff. Like, so what category does Airbender fall into? Just cap, just like cartoon? H how does that work? Enlighten me. Majin says, also, I don't trust Disney to do Knights of the Old Republic. You're, you're right. You know, the thing is, I know that they could do a good job because they, Disney itself could do a great job. But Disney, like you're saying, they, they would ruin it. You're right. They, they're right. I just kind of get my hopes up and then they come crashing down. trying to figure out where my light source is coming from and I'm not doing a good job because like it's supposed to come from over here and I've made this too dark <laughs> I tend to always make this side darker maybe it has to do with being left handed but otherwise it's not going to Otherwise, it's not going to be realistic. It's going to flow. My brain will always be like, something is wrong with this picture. But I, so I'm just saying, I don't know exactly what it was about Bastila that I like. Because we, maybe it's because I didn't see too many um, female Jedi back in the day. I, I was young when it came out, younger. And um, I didn't really know anything about female Jedi, right? It was, it was typically guys, right? Typically guys. We talked about, you know, Darth Revan, Darth Bane. There was um, Exar Kun, um, Horn Horn, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, the Emperor, Qui-Gon, you know, all the greats. And so she came along, and I was just like, yeah, she's cool. <laughs> I like her. I liked the woman, I forget what her name was, who did the voice acting for her. I liked the storyline. The fact that she was using, okay, uh, total noob here again. I totally don't remember what style of the lightsaber is. Like, like, um, Darth Maul's. If anybody knows what that's called, let me know. Uh, what kind of weapon that is. I mean, it's the two ends on one stick. It's really satisfying to watch you draw a tab. So thank you, Jedi Master. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Let me get my reference photo back up here. And I'm trying to remember that I'm, I'm trying to make this like a sketch, not necessarily like a full-on masterpiece. It's really, really hard. So I might go back here with a little bit of ink later on, but maybe not, maybe not. I'm going to need somebody to teach me, though, like, going back to the anime stuff. Like, I need somebody to teach me what the difference is. I don't want to, like, <laughs> offend the community. <laughs> Be like, I'm sorry, I thought this was anime. I'm like, no, man, that's just a, that's just a cartoon. <laughs> Last Airbender is American. To qualify as anime, it needs to come from Japan. Okay. Thank you. All right. But, okay. So you have to, like, do research on it before you can... Jesus. 
say that. Okay. Um, I'm no expert, but I assume most lightsaber is a variation of the lightsaber pipe, which is what the Jedi Temple Guard use. It does have, like it does have a, a proper name. I just can't think of what it would be. Two kyber crystals. I wouldn't doubt that would totally make sense unless like, what do I know? Unless you'd have like maybe a more powerful crystal in the middle. I don't know how that works. I need to do my reading. I'm working on building my um, my library of the OG Star Wars. Uh, so I have like four <laughs> besides the original trilogy which I have yet to read it's on the list but um, I have The Courtship of Princess Leia love it love it um, shoot fire what do I have and then I have Tatooine Ghost that was pretty good I just sort of kind of finished The Crystal Star uh, wow, that oh, it's a little bit painful to, to read. <laughs> People on Twitter tried to warn me, by the way. Don't follow me on Twitter, but if you want to, you can find me at Dreaming Tabitha. Sometimes I talk about Star Wars and post my life there, but. Darth Maul's style is, is it Neiman? Neiman? Form 6. Okay. But we got people that know. I appreciate you enlightening us. Thank you. He's willing to know. I'm just like busy shading and highlighting and stuff like that. I don't know if I really want to do the little things here. I might just forego those. I'm not being lazy. I'm making a practical decision. Okay. <laughs> I always say my favorite, I always would say like my favorite Jedi, like it was always Darth Vader. Now I know he, he said, so I always go with like my favorite force user, it's Darth Vader, um, Qui-Gon Jinn would probably be my favorite Jedi. I, I do like Bastel. I wish there was more. You know what I love though about like being a fan of characters like this is the fact that there isn't a lot about her, right? But it's the same as like Darth Maul. And I think that's actually a good thing. And the reason being is that it always leaves room for mystery, right? Always leaves you wanting. And wishing and that could always open up the opportunity for fan fiction and whatnot but you can't ruin a character if you never continue their story but, right same thing with like Cara Dune right so a lot of us are fans of Cara Dune huge fan huge fan and I wish we could have had more of her character we all know what happened with you. I remember where I was in 2021 um but I kind of like the fact that we're we're not going to because it's like they can't ruin her character. She's always going to be this really awesome, amazing thing. 
about woman with a backstory that we wish we could be more about. Tell me box reviews. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, have you not been monetized yet? Your channel is underrated. Well, see, that, that's really sweet. Thank you. I'm here for you guys. I mean, I'm here for me too. But, um, no, I, I like hanging out with you guys. You know, the internet... You know, there's that stereotype, of course, of nerds on the internet, no friends, and whatnot. And maybe that's true for some people. But I think it's pretty cool that we can in a way talk to them. And, uh, yeah. Don't hide from the world, but the internet's a pretty cool place. Yeah. You behave yourself. Like, look, you need to implement those makers that you want to taught you. Be kind to people. It can actually be a fun place to have. Lady Marine! That awesome lady was like a lifesaver when it came to, I think, was it my first painting stream where we did Medusa together? And she really helped me out uh, <laughs> with some of the shading. <laughs> I see a girl with the ruggling. Please be sure to hit the like button, by the way. She does paintings as well. She does some really fun and, and great paintings of animals. I love her dog paintings. And she did one of a bat. That was so cute. <laughs> come on. Who doesn't like a bat? Like, come on. Um... So for those that are new here, I am drawing one of my favorite, um, let's see, uh, Star Wars, sorry, I was reading the chat, Star Wars characters, which is from the uh, computer game Knights of the Old Republic, and we are working on Bastila Shan here. Love her. She said, and her otter. What, no weasel yet? Come on now, I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the weasel. <laughs> oh. I think that would be such a fun painting. <laughs> but I understand. You gotta feel it. People can make all the suggestions that they want, but you you got to feel it. So, while I know that this is my... Oh, for those that maybe... Let me just kind of go back again. If you're new here, I made my own lore book inspired by everybody's favorite Star Wars film, The Last Jedi. <coughs> and um, I loved the fact that they had books. And so I do, in the description box down below, have the link to my video um, where I made this all here all the distressing and everything. It's so just a quick walkthrough again. All of these these letters over here, they mean something. You can actually translate this. You can actually translate the front of the book. Absolutely. I was giving everybody a chance to have a look at these letters to see if they could translate it. And if you can translate the front of the book, what this actually says, um, you could say what the letters are and first person that would then I'd eat you can email me and I'd get you a discount on my Etsy shop but um I was talking about how I love the old republic just kind of talked about it here yeah, got the Jedi temple got a lightsaber star charts to Manon some Sith Corban and so we're just sketching the last Who do you think is maybe the most underrated Star Wars character out there? Curious question. This could really, really divide everybody, but curious to see what people have to say. Like, who do you think? 
should get more, I don't know if a more screen time necessarily, but yeah, who do you think should, should get more attention or maybe is not as appreciated quite as much as they should? And uh, also, again, if you hear some whirring in the background, I apologize. I'm on my old computer. I left my power cord at my brother's when I went to go visit him last weekend for my new laptop. So, apologize. Um, back in the day, back in my day, I thought that Darth Maul was kind of underappreciated, but then they started incorporating him into um you know the cartoons and then they put him in solo and stuff which again i think he like like cardoon and basla Shan, i actually would have liked while i want more of darth maul i kind of don't at the same time because sometimes there's just a lot of there's a lot of beauty in the mystery right i did like he like in the comic i didn't mind having him like in the comic books and then you find out like he was um wasn't he like adopted or his mother was one of the, the night sisters, one of those witches from Dathomir? I thought that was so cool. Like just little tidbits like that. Or like when he, uh, you know, he shows up, of course, in Darth Plagueis, the book. That was an interesting story. I need to listen to that again. Maybe not the most underrated character, but I love Kit Fisto. He deserves more screen time. Uh, his mother was Talzin, wasn't she? I, I couldn't say. I thought that's what it was. Darth Maul was, wasn't he given to the Night Sisters? Like they raised him. That's what it was, wasn't it? I could be wrong. I could be. All right, this is a difficult part when it comes to doing clothing on women's anatomy. All these curves, like, you know, we appreciate a curvaceous woman, don't we? But golly. I think we've got something. I think we're doing okay. <laughs> Yes, he was a son of Dathomir. Yeah, there we go. Okay, look. Look, your girl knows some stuff. She might not be confident in her knowledge, but she knows some stuff. I, I, I guess you could maybe label me as a casual fan. It's kind of hard to just... It's really, I think, hard to say who is a true fan, right? Because I adore Star Wars. But I... It doesn't matter what franchise it is, honestly... I don't like to know everything about it. I know that sounds crazy, but I like that mystery to it. Um, Stargate, Star Wars, love them. Star Trek, I think it's great. But I, I like having a little bit of mystery. I don't like knowing everything. Or it's like, I don't mind one day maybe knowing stuff. I want to take my time. Like, I don't, I don't want to like just submerge into everything. I want to, over years, like almost like studying history, just little by little. I think I'm a casual fan of Star Wars too. See, but you know, when you say casual fan, it makes it sound like you're just like, yeah, Star Wars is great. No, I mean like, I love Star Wars. I love the books. I love the lore the costumes. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect Jedi boot. For real. Um, one day I would love to have a custom lightsaber. Um, I just... I don't... I don't want to say people have an infatuation with it that could come across as a judgmental work like description. I just don't want to know everything about I want to know a little bit about everything. I don't want to, I want to know everything about everything. Does that makes sense. I like a little bit scared. That way there's always something to learn. 
rogue attraction watching you instead of f and t oh that is a compliment hey go subscribe to his channel if you haven't um if you're interested in theme parks and things like that he's part our cop and world and uh rogue knows so much about how about somebody who knows a little bit about everything or knows everything about everything um he's honing in on a thousand subs i taught him how to paint he was on my channel we painted a dolphin there was a fun story attached to that you should check that video out sometime i teach youtubers how to paint looking for my next youtuber haven't organized that yet but looking for my next youtuber Dimash and I, you want to come on and paint? I'll teach you. <laughs> For real though. I'll give you... We can, we can paint anything you want to, as long as it's not like provocative. <laughs> I do have rules. <laughs> teach Cat? I should reach out to Cat, shouldn't I? That would be fun. She would be hilarious, I feel. She's gonna want to paint something from uh, Dusty. I know, I feel it in my bones. Tom, Rogue, it always feels weird calling you by your first name. Um, we were talking about Darth Maul, his lightsaber. Damage and I told me that I was just comparing notes here. Um, like even in the real world what is that style called where it's the long stick like what is that fighting set what is that thing called I'm curious uh, sorry to my, I, I I don't know why I felt like like I need like I was calling you out for that that's not what I was trying to do. I, I, w I was trying to make that like a blanket statement for any guests that I bring on I wasn't <laughs> trying to be like now much nine this is for us <laughs> sorry that's not what I was trying to do sorry about that that was for real I don't know if you already do our work maybe you're already proficient at it you're like <laughs> I've seen what she can do I don't need her help Hep, what? Hepkido? Hepkido? Or Akido? Ah! Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit creative in my own design of Basila here because I don't feel like it's following all the accuracy here. Maybe <laughs> I don't believe you. Probably Burgundy would. Sorry. All right. Oh. Uh, a thousand pardons. All right. Let's see if we can get her hair. I kind of like the idea of leaving her a little bit unfinished. It kind of goes with, like, again, the whole grungy thing like that. I've got several pages to fill, so I'll probably come back. I've already pre burned stuff, but you can see here some pages are still needing to be fixed. I, I have one where I went a little bit overboard. Again, you can watch the video of how I burned all this stuff. Got quite the flame. Got some words right here. This is another fantastic YouTuber to subscribe to. And this says right here, Whitey is cool. So you should check out Whitey's Wicked Workshop. He is another Star Wars room builder. Amazing stuff. Check out his channel. Uh, he sometimes shows up on the movie review channel that I hang out on Tuesdays and Sundays where um, I'm on Inside the Booth. You can check that out as well. This Sunday, if you haven't ever watched Inside the Booth, this Sunday should be really cool. Uh, we're going to be talking about, I'm going to have some special guests on. Dan is taking a wee break. He's taking a little bit of a vacay. Maybe I forced him into it. Maybe I didn't. Well, you'll never know. And 
I am having a Troubled Green and Revkev come on, two other YouTubers, and we're going to be discussing the books versus the movies. Movies that should have just stayed books. And I'd be interested to hear what your guys' opinion would be. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time inside the booth. Look for us. And then on the following Tuesday, I'm also going to have another cool show. We're going to be discussing Bond films, the best, the worst, and who would be the absolute worst next James Bond. Rogue is supposed to be on with me. As well as another Star Wars room builder, The Maker, should be having Mark with a C. The Gospel According to Mark should be on, as well as The Capable Gentleman. Should be a fantastic episode. Just do a couple of scribbles, scrabbles. Oh, hello, Holocron Library Fox. Oh, speaking of holocrons, speaking of the dark side. I hope everybody's having a great day. Where's my name? This looks a little too prominent. He says, I remembered me and Lee have already been discussing our favorites. Oh, already fraternizing with the enemy. I just <laughs> don't think Lee's the enemy. I I was told he was a huge James Bond fan. So um, I expect a lot of testosterone in the room that day. And some maybe some heated, <laughs> heated opinions. Although Lee told me, he said, never. He is a gentleman trying to get him to a hundred or excuse me a thousand subs as well capable gentleman he said he would never cause drama because he is a gentleman we'll see we'll see holocron library fox yes we are doing bastila from knights of the old republic one of my favorite jedi There you go. Rogue putting the numbers in. You guys are getting close, and I hope you get there quickly. You guys work hard at what you do. My apologies if I have not shouted out other people in the chat who have YouTube channels. You know, try to support each other where we're at. Uh... I have no qualms. If you want to share your YouTube channel in the chat... And um, just kind of talk about what you do. Feel free. I know this is technically my stream, but like, let's, let's help each other out. Tell, tell me what you do if you have one. Tell other people what you do. Do you count me among the darkies, Tabitha? I guess us foxes haven't gotten the best reputation. <laughs> the darkies. Docs. Yeah, I do kind of. Oh, an hospital only has one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, five fingers. <laughs> Names of destruction, the superhero. In word form. How are you? Saw him today on Arwen Avalon's channel. Let me tell you, that lady, she was preaching the word. I'm <laughs> she's talking about commitment. And she was on fire. Memes has a channel. Man, I tell you what, I can't keep up with half the stuff that goes on his channel. I'm not smart enough for memes. I'm not smart enough for memes' channel. <laughs> Uh, who else is watching 
B for Vendetta tomorrow, so it's I watched it earlier this year. I don't know, I've already watched it. That movie it's a good movie, but it gets me discouraged when we did it. So. Yeah, I've lost track of what that is. Well, knowledge bearers are always a bit gray. I strive to serve order, but I definitely walk some dark alleys. Oh, people. Okay, so. I was gonna try to do like an accurate representation of her lightsaber. Like, at least to try, but her lightsaber's not really all that means again interesting except for the fact that she was like, the first female that came out using this special kind of lightsaber. I don't wanna discredit it, but again we're just sketching it. Which is just... Ooh. Because he always watches me for a bit of it. Remember, remember. Wow, this is the wonkiest lightsaber ever. God is a smash. If I can teach monster girl, I can teach Oh, you know what I think would be cool is if I leave all this black and white and then actually get some color, like crayon, chalk, or something like that. Do the lightsaber blade that way. It's a very light shadowing back here because the light is just like that. My voice sounds muffled. Check my mic. Okay, so I am using my old computer. Sorry about that. And also, my, my old computer is making a lot of whirring noises, so I have my microphone actually, like, facing way away from me to kind of dampen the <laughs> so I should be getting the power cord for my new computer to night or tomorrow being delivered to me. I accidentally left it at my brother's house. Thank you all for hanging out despite the technical challenges. Like I said, some of my other equipment broke today, like the arm that I used to hold the camera. But, oh my gosh. I was starting to have a wee bit of a panic attack and then frustration was starting to hit me. And then I was just like, you know, it's it's been kind of a Monday of a week. And normally I like Mondays. I'm actually one of those weirdos. I like Monday. It's actually my favorite day of the week. I know. Weirdo. But in normal people terms, it's been a Monday of the week. You might ask yourself why exactly why? Why why did you like Monday? It's Monday. It's the day we all go back to work. It's the day when life starts all over again and we have to return because I like work. I do. I love the challenge. I love the freshness of a brand new week. Not stars and goaters. It's park hopping. It's gamers saying hi. Hello. Hello there. I'm freaking out here. <laughs> I am a wild ride sometimes. I think it's better. This guy wants to know, what do you think of doing a pencil drawing of Lady Hutton? Not in this book. Not in this book. This is my Star Wars But, uh, yeah, I do kind of like her being a little bit unfinished. A little bit unfinished. I didn't think that I would get the 
accomplished, to be honest. Sorry, I looked away. I gotta me. All right, let's try to get to this here. It's Trump Pio saying hi. Hello there. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have all had a great weekend start. I have seen Lady Hawk. It is in the DVD collection. I think it's a great movie. Matthew Broderick is a long lost treasure. He's like disappeared. He's like no nowhere to be found anymore. Give her a little, little eye makeup there. Does anybody have anything interesting going on this weekend? I am going to the Renaissance Fair. As I stated earlier, I'm going to the Renaissance Fair with some members of my family. I am going to be dressing up. Yes, I am. Enjoy your dinner, Rogue. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delightful and delectable. This guy, I have school for continuing ed. Okay. Right. Yeah, so I am going to be going as... My outfit has a little bit of an identity crisis. I always do something fantasy. Fantasy is my favorite genre, um, and I love elves. I, uh, I love pointed ears, so I may or may not have that tomorrow. But I, I cannot stand like the really fakey looking stuff. I can't stand it. It's just, I can't do it. So I may take a picture and post it on my Twitter if I feel like it, if I feel, like, if I feel pretty enough. Um, But I'm going to be basically like a steampunk pixie pirate. Yeah. I'm going to, or, or an animal peddler. Something like this. Like an, a fur peddler. Something like that. Something elvish, semi steampunkish. And I will have dead animals on me. But in, in a good way. But in a good way. <laughs> Thank you, Jedi Master. That is not the first time I've heard that. And I really, really wanted to um, dress up and try to do like a Renaissance version of Cara Dune. I'm not very good with costuming. And the other thing is, too, it would have been so cool because I actually have one of the props. Um, I won this last year or two years ago. And so I actually have an actual... Cara Dune hair tie. And I thought that would have been so cool to, um, to, to actually wear this in my hair somehow. But uh, I just couldn't think of it. little cool treasure that I have. Like, yeah, I have an actual Star Wars prop. Like, how cool is that? I'm really happy with how she's turned out. I did not think 
able to get this much accomplished this evening. So thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I'm gonna go back. How in the world is Rogue eating after eating fried dough at SeaWorld? That sounds heavy. Um, steampunk pixie pyric is a fa phrase I don't believe I've ever heard until today. That's right, memes. I make up my own categories. That's who Tabitha is. I don't play by everybody else's rules. At least I don't usually. So I will be a steampunk pixie pirate. Um, I wore an outfit similar to what I'm going to wear tomorrow a couple of years ago for a renaissance festival and people actually were asking me if i if it was a costume from a movie like if it was a character from a movie and apparently people really loved it i went as a viking last year and people actually got my photo taken they're like hey can i take a photo of you I'm like sure <laughs> make my day i'm nearly bald i doubt it would be good for me you should So, okay. I do think, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave her this way. Maybe just a little bit of protection. I like it. It speaks to me. I jive with this. See, you can do category theories. There you go. Well, I mean, I can make up crap. Does it make it, <laughs> you know? And then, yeah, I'm going to see about that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to take some Arabish and spell Astaba. I can, okay, I don't want to do it in pencil though. I want to like go all in. Let me find the Arabish. Let's find the appropriate pen. I'll be right back. No, wasn't no, I don't do toilet breaks. I make sure I go before the stream. I feel like that. It's just good news. Um, Ooh, it doesn't work that good. That's Don't don't criticize me if I'm not doing as well. We, we all find. Wow, you know what? We're near in the end. Okay, last month, we're going to be. Calligraphy is always been very good. It's meant to look homemade, guys. It's meant to look distressed and like it was done. I don't try. It's just born a ramble. Is this a paint and character I'm painting myself? Um, this is a sketch of Astalish Hand. Um, I think the old And so because I have if you're new here, if I you can see I've done Corbon and I did the fifth lettering here. I've got Darth Bane, Darth Revan. My favorite here. Okay, so I'm going to be, i got to focus on them. It's much better to calculate than I'm a little disappointed in them. It's so hard, it's so big, I don't like it. <laughs> I 
I'm just kind of muttering Holocron. Uh, I'm not really saying anything of value at the moment. You know how it is when you kind of walk yourself through a process, you don't really get too loud about it. You're just kind of like, oh. Unlucky lore, it's Maria! Okay, this is B A S. I'll probably try to repeat. Again, I'm muttering. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, Maria in the house. Uh, Jenny Master says, the writing actually helps fill the page. It looks really good. Thank you. Okay. Number one for I. I'm going to refine the shapes here a little bit. There was a, there was a butt in the chat. Oh, I can look at that. Well, thank you. <laughs> and then, oh shoot, I got to do this other horrific K thing. That's kind of cool, though. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's pass it to Oh, okay. Alright, let's see if I can refine some of these. And again, I don't really want it to look too perfect, but these are not very good representation of the letters. Scraggly. I am speaking up, and I know it gets it gets gurgly. I, again, I'm sorry. The next time I will have my laptop. My better laptop and the old thing. You can't seem to find the bot. I I'm not worried. Almost done with this. I can't believe we got this far tonight, guys. Thank you for hanging around. Appreciate it. Thank you for hitting the like button, for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I appreciate I appreciate all of it. Hopefully I'll get back to doing painting streams. Ooh, that came out a little bigger than I wanted to. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Um than I wanted it to, but that's okay. I gotta figure out what's the next character crossover that I want to do or what exactly my next painting project will be. I'm currently working on a private painting project that's going to be just a video. So of course be subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell. So that way um, when that comes out, which hopefully will be soon, I, I'm doing kind of like a tribute to somebody who shouted out my channel that I had no idea would do anything like that for me. So I'm, and I had this vision. And I'm like, I just want to make this painting. It might put this, give this person a big head. Uh, it's not what I planned to do. It's not what I wanted to do. But, but 
but that's that's not on my hands but it was really i just i saw this vision and as an artist if you guys any of you were creative you understand like you just kind of got to go with it all right okay i like that it's a little bit distressed looking that's fine i wonder if i can get this you know what we're gonna do I have a lovely cup of leftover coffee here. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> lead, lead for me. Just kind of smudge some of this blue ink here. Some over here with my finger. Yeah, you, know, you gotta get into it. People always tell me, like, oh, she's a real artist. She gets stirred. That's right. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, chat, for noticing. I had no idea. Ooh. Ooh. Smudge some of this pencil here. Comics is cosmetics? Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's Danny! Danny, I am just distressing my already distressed book here. <laughs> I did not get my... Uh, tripod out so let's see if we can highlight from above put some more coffee on here I'm gonna make the noise as they call Ross with coffee too so this is again for those that are new here this is my um oops, it's blurry let's see if we can there we go She's got a dot on her nose. I didn't want that. There we go. Yeah, this is Bastille Shadow. It actually says crayon or something like that. And try to do the yellow lightsaber. I think the pop of color would be really cool for this. But yeah, this is my, my Jedi sacred text that I made by hand. You can see the full video of how I made this um, in the description box. And... Uh, yeah, it was a really fun video to make. One of my better productions, I believe. And um, it's basically just kind of like a diary of different Star Wars things. These actually say things, so if you're fluent in the language, you can actually read this. This is Manon and the star charts from Nice for the Old Republic. We've got Korriban right here. And I did some Sith, and so I wanted to put my favorite old republic jedi in here i have to figure out what else i'm gonna put in here and thank you so much for being along on this journey guys um comics and cosmetics is another person that you should subscribe to and check out she does some really amazing uh makeup inspired by you guessed it pop culture stuff comic books movie people and she is a hard working gal i tell her she's the upcoming queen of youtube <laughs> And um, Unlocking Lore, also be sure to check out Maria's channel. She also is on After the Weekend, the movie review channel. But Unlocking Lore, she tells some really amazing stories. Very gifted. Um, yeah, I really like how this came out. Thank you again so much for uh, being along for this journey. I didn't think I was going to finish tonight. I appreciate everybody's support immensely. And uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I'll be seeing you next week. And um, like Maria said, we are the first highlight of the uh, day. We are surrounded by amazing artists. Yes, we are.
So thank you, everybody. And again, there are different ways to support the channel in the description box down below. I will be creating more amazing content for you or attempt at amazing content. We work on stuff together and hopefully we'll get a new character crossover. Again, if you want to get prints of my Indie Stargate crossover, you can check out my Etsy shop. And if you're interested in my um, bat poo painting, <laughs> you, that's not as gross as it sounds, you can get this it's available. Just email me at dreamingfabitha at gmail.com if you're interested in this piece here that we've made together. And I'll see you for the next stream. But uh, anyway, you guys have a great rest of the evening and have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for being here.